Okay, this video is looking at um, use of definite integration with regards to finding the area underneath the curve. So we've got a, a curve with a given equation here, y equals 3x squared plus 2x plus 5. We're given the point where it cuts the x-axis is minus 1, 0, but not the point it cuts the y-axis. We're just told it's, it's point B. Uh, question A says state the coordinates of the point B, hence find the area of triangle AOB, AOB this triangle here. Well, that was the origin. So for part A, first thing I need to do is to find uh, the axis, the y-intercept. Well, where it cuts the y-axis, the x-coordinate will be zero. So what I need to do is sub in zero to my equation where x is. So it's going to be y equals three lots of zero squared, substituting zero in for x, plus two lots of zero, plus five, which is pretty straightforward. Three. 0 squared is just 0, plus 2 zero is still 0, plus the 5 is 5. It does say state the coordinates of the point B, so we need to be specific that B is at 0, 5, where it's going to cut the y axis. It then says hence find the area of the triangle AOB. Well, if I look at the sides of the triangle, if it cuts the y axis 5, that must have a height of 5. And it cuts the at negative one zero, so it must have a base of one. So area of triangle A O B is going to be a half base times height, so a half times one times five, which is two point five square units. For section B, I need to do a bit of integration, so I'll do some new paper. B says find the integral of 3x to the 5 plus 2x plus 5 with respect to x. So if I just drop that down again here. For integration, all I need to do with each one is I need to increase uh, my power by 1. So first one, x to the 5, is going to increase to x to the 6. I then need to divide through by that new power. So I did have 3 there. I'm going to divide by the new power, 6. 3 divided by 6 is a half. So we get half x to the 6. Do the same with the second term. So I'm going to increase the power of variable x from 1 to 2 and then divide through by 2. Well, 2 divided by 2 is just 1. So I'm going to leave it as x squared. And finally with the 5, I'm going to increase the power of the x at the moment is x to the 0. So it's going to become x to the 1 or just x. And dividing through by 1 just remain pleased with the 5. We've also got a constant integration at the end. That's three marks. Pretty straightforward. For part C, it says hence the shaded region bounded by the curve on the line AB. Now, if I look at this shaded region here, I can see that I can work it out by finding out the whole area underneath the curve and then subtracting the area of the triangle, which I found for part A was 2.5 square units. So, all I need to do is find the area underneath the between the x axis and zero on the x axis. So to do that, I need to find a definite integral. Well, the equation of the curve, which we used previously, was that. And I want to find a definite integral between minus 1 and 0. Now I've already done the integration up here. So it was a half x to the 6 plus x plus 5x. For a definite integral, we don't need the plus c, because we're going to be subtracting it later, which will eliminate. And that's between 0 and minus 1. So all I need to do is substitute that in. So in the zero first of all, so we're going to get half times zero to the six plus zero squared plus five zeros, which should be pretty straightforward, and then subtract the second uh, substitution of minus one in. So it's going to be a half minus one to the six minus one squared plus five lots of minus one. Calculating all that, pretty straightforward. This is going to be zero because it's just a bunch of zeros added together. Right there, and I've got minus 1 to the power 6. Now it's an even power, so that's going to become 1 multiplied by a half. It's going to be half. Minus 1 squared, again, it's an even power, so it's going to be 1 and plus 5 negative 1, so it's going to be minus 5. So working out that, uh, half plus 1, 1 and a half, subtract so it's going to be negative 3 and a half. And zero subtract negative three and a half is same as zero plus three and a half, which is half. Now I'm not quite finished the question because if you think back to where I was doing that, it was because I wanted to find the area underneath the curve. The whole area underneath the curve is three and a half. 
well, I want the shady to subtract this triangle, which I found out from part A. So therefore, the area I need, three and a half, track the area of the triangle.